God appeared to him in a dream, Bachalom Halayla. In all of Parshas Vayetze, who would we imagine is getting a prophetic vision from a Kurdish Baruch Hu in their dreams? Maybe Yaakov, Rachel, Leah? But no, it was Lavan. How did Lavan merit to get a prophetic vision in his dream? Well, let's rewind to figure it out. Because in the dead of the night, Yaakov and his family are packing up their things, getting ready to leave before daylight so Lavan doesn't know that they're running away from Haran. And yet Rachel Imenu is not packing up her things. Instead, she's sneaking around the house, finding all of her father's idols, from the closets, from the door frames, all over. Why? Why does Rachel spend all this time taking her father's idols? It's not going to change his ways, it's just a minor inconvenience. He can just order more on Amazon, he'll get them the next day. Says of Shimon Schwab in his Mayan Beis HaShoeva, that what Rachel Imeni was doing was showing her father that it's never too late, that she believes that he can still do tshuva even though he's lived a life full of idolatry. And we might think that that gesture didn't work because Lavan continues to worship idols. But Rosh Schwab has a very keen insight. He says, look what happens. In those few days where Lavan didn't have any idols, he gets a prophetic vision from a Kurdish Baruch Hu. Rachel Imenu's encouragement worked, at least to some extent. And if Rachel Imenu can convince Lavan Ha'arami, Lavan HaRasha, to do a little bit of tshuva enough to receive prophecy, how much can our words of encouragement impact those around us? Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.